Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow toy nuts and toy collectors. This is Odie, known to you as Starscream1988. And thank you for coming to my channel, stopping by and viewing. Um, so yeah, there you go in front of you. As you can see, this is Hasbro's Transformers Generation, Swerve and Flanker. Uh, Swerve is really super popular in the comics. I remember the first 10 issues definitely had him here and there. Um, he had that trademark, that really cool funky face, the, the kind of skeleton looking thing you would have to read it it's been a while so i really can't remember the whole everything that happened but um, again really cool very uh big departure from what he originally looked like um and hopefully if you can kind of find them um as as i'm up i have obviously have to open the package hopefully i can find the original one and i'll kind of show you a little quick comparison um flank on the other hand i have no idea where that transformers from um, he serves two purposes. He's obviously a jet. He can transform into a robot and he's also a weapon. Um, side of the package there. Obviously, this is from Series 2, number 5, as you can see on the bottom there. Uh, and it's been really cool. They've been actually taking their time doing these. Um, there's only been, uh, yeah, this is uh, out of the Series 2, there's only been six so far. Um, and obviously, after this video, I will be doing the Cosmos. So you can kind of go back and forth and check those out. So there's the um, tech specs for these two guys. So I'll bring it over so you can read it for yourself. His fire blast is horrible. <laughs> uh, and there's Flanker. Flanker seems to be even more powerful than him. In pretty much every aspect, it seems. Interesting. And there's a little story. So you can pause that and read it for yourself. Um, and then the other side of the package has nothing, which is that side right there. It just basically says Swerve and Flanker. So really nice. I can't wait to open these and check them out. Very nice R2. Uh, a little bit more simplistic than the first four, but still another, nonetheless very, very cool. So yeah, let's um, crack them open. Let's check them out. Okay, and here is Swerve and Flanker out of package. Um, I already transformed them just because I was kind of playing with them and... Um, I'll be honest, it's easier just to kind of go back into robot mode the same way he came in package than it is to do in robot mode. So obviously, whatever you see me doing, just kind of reverse, that's all. So um, pretty cool. Um, I like Flanker. I think he's a pretty cool toy. Um, he has a couple different modes. Uh, again, he has the jet mode, and he can also be a weapon, which is pretty nice. Obviously, for, v, um, for um, robot mode, all you're doing is bringing this up. You can turn this in, and that's it. He's done. Um, he can also um, become a weapon, like I just said. Um, you can do two things, actually, before I turn him into a weapon. Um, you can actually have him. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of, you can use your imagination. He can be like an extra booster. You can bring down his peg there, and you can put him there. And he would actually be able to, you know, give Swerve some jet propulsion. <laughs> Maybe even help him fly a little bit. I'm sure, obviously, Swerve's a lot bigger, so it might be hard, but... Uh, but yeah, you know, your imagination can do whatever you want, which is kind of cool. So that 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 that's a pretty cool look. The other thing you can do is when you turn him into the weapon mode, you basically um, bring in this down here. Let's see if I can unhinge that. And like that. And you just kind of just bring it back. And you just, you know, set it right there. Um... Obviously, you can still keep the wings up if you so wish, or you can bring them down. I guess it doesn't really matter. The booklet does show it up like that, though. And then you can do this. And he has his big Gatling gun type of thing. And he can shoot the bad guys, too, as he's in vehicle mode. He's old. He rolls really nice, too. Cool. Let's just take this out. Again, just to transform him, he is very, he is pretty simple, actually. Just kind of bring these out, which is really nice. And you can see his real pretty face there. <laughs> bring that out. And then just push this back. And there you go. Now, there's a third-party variant, uh, not variant, but there's a third-party version of him. You can pick up, he's really nice, too. I forget who makes it. I want to say it's TF's Toys, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember right now. But um, but if you're an, you know, if you want an original Hasbro Takara, then this is honestly the way to go. Um, as that other version is a lot bigger too. And that's basically it. I mean, he is that simple to transform. And then he can hold this big cannon also in his hand, and either one too. So it doesn't matter. And there you go. 
holding pretty well too. Can't complain. There you go, folks. Quick little reviews on these guys. There's really not much to them. Um, I definitely suggest him. Um, I, I like him a lot. I think he's a really, really cool figure. Um, on both modes, on his alternate mode and his robot mode. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please rate, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I will see you guys later. Peace.